Jimmy Buffett and the Coral Reefer Band is just one of the many acts headed to Chicago in the next few weeks. And here with more is our music maven, Front Row Phyllis, to talk about some of these. And, and Jimmy Buffett, this is going to be his second year yeah. at Wrigley Field. And to me, I love seeing a concert at Wrigley Field. I know. Isn't it great? Well, it's that time of year, right? Yes. So Jimmy Buffett and the Coral Reefer Band, this time he actually has Boz Gags with him, who hasn't made an appearance in quite some time. He has a new album that's actually coming out at the end of this month. Okay. And, you know, I think Jimmy Buffett likes Chicago because he was just here in November kicking off his, you know, Broadway uh, show, mm -hmm. which was Escape to Margaritaville. He showed up for the opening and now he's back, second year in a row at Wrigley. So what's not to love about Chicago, exactly, right? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's going to be great. Well, so. then also July 13th through 15th, we have the Windy City Smokeout, which we you can do. get some good food and yep. listen to some good music. It is going to be awesome. I have to tell you, it's a a huge country lineup. It is three days filled with, you know, Brett Eldridge and, you know, uh, Brett Young, Brothers Osborne, Kane Brown, lots of barbecue. There's over 20 pit masters showcasing their wow. food and then great beer. So you and it's going to be a beautiful weekend. So I love it. And yeah. well, also on July 13th, Imagine Dragons at the Hollywood Casino. Yeah, so I love this pop alternative group. They are one of my favorites. It is they are here on their third tour in celebration of their third album, which is hard to believe because when you think of Imagine Dragons, you think they've been around forever. Yeah, this is only their third and, album. Yeah, but they've Looking sold at over. the video, I mean, the yeah. lights, everything, it looks oh, like yeah. a really cool show. It's going to be electrifying. And, you know, these guys have sold over 12 million albums. So I think wow. they're doing something they're right. They're doing something right. Yeah. Yes, lots of hits there. Yeah. So July 14th, Def Leppard and Journey back at Wrigley. Yeah, back at Wrigley. <laughs> this is great. So it's English rock band meets American rock band one night, one stage, and I have to tell you, you know what's great is that they actually did this in 2006. Mm -hmm. And then they said, why did we wait so long to put this collaboration together? Yeah. So I can assure you all their fans are going to hear all the hits from both bands. It's going to be an awesome night. That's yep. going to be a fun yeah. show. Hmm, I wonder what I'm doing that night. Let's right? see. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, we've actually had them in studio, but July 22nd, Waitress, which obviously is after the amazing movie that was out, will be at the Cadillac. Theater. Right. So it runs now through the 22nd. It's here for just a short period of time. And of course, the story is so great. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, the waitress that has dreams and she's a pie maker. And, you know, she's in a loveless marriage in a small town and she wants to, and what happens? She wants to get out and does she get out and do all these incredible things. So, yeah, yeah it's That's a, a great good one. Great good one, one to see. Um, this is another great pairing. So Kesha and Macklemore, they're going to be at the Hollywood Casino on July 4th. They are on Saturday. It is her third album that she just released, his second album. They decided to do a collaboration with a song, of course we know, Good Old Days. Mm -hmm. And then they said, you know what, since we did this incredible collaboration, let's go on tour together. So that's what they're doing. It's actually a really great show, yes. the two of them together. I really like that. I love it. Now, yep. July 14th through August 12th, this is one of my daughter's favorites, yep. Pinkalicious, and I'm actually going to be taking her to this show. This is is a must must for everybody out there. I have to tell you, it's of course the, you know, based on the adaptation, the book. And, you know, it's a little girl that eats too many cupcakes. She turns, she gets pinkatitis, which I didn't even know existed. <laughs> and she gets pink from head to toe. And uh, how she gets out of it. It's and that's so really, cute. And yeah. her, the books are adorable. Right. I love reading them to my daughter. So that's going to be a fun one. And then also July 11th through the 15th, obviously. Right. We've got the Taste of Chicago, which kicks off today. We do. Well, we've been talking about food. Let's talk about some music. There's going to be two stages and uh, Goose Island's stage has some of the best local talent mm -hmm. and then the Petrillo has everybody from Brandy Carlisle is going to be their black star um, the flaming lips and plenty more so you want to check it out it's gonna be a lot of fun yeah. I know great food great music yeah everyone loves the taste and we all love you so thank Aww. you so much for coming in and giving thank us you. the lowdown and the scoop <laughs>